Hello and welcome to Ula Tea Leaf Readings. My name is Lenore and tonight I'm going to be reading your tea leaves. This is a horoscope for Scorpio. If Scorpio is your solar, lunar, ascendant slash rising sign, then this is a message for you. All right, let's get started. And so our card is the art card. <laughs> it is. It's the art card. Okay, let's see what these tea leaves have to say tonight. And so if you have not subscribed yet, please think about doing that. You can hit the little bell. It'll let you know when the next readings are coming out. It is free to subscribe. Okay, so immediately, <laughs> right off the bat here, we have a person standing here. We have a bow, okay? We also have a heart. Now we have another person standing over here and they have an arrow. Uh, so, love, right? Immediately I'm like, okay, so we're dealing with uh, Euros <laughs> or Eros um, and this is a time of flirtation, of courtship, of um, feeling lovely and Twitter pated and, um, you know, all of the things. Now, it doesn't have to be somebody at all, really. I mean, you could be feeling like this about life, about your spiritual journey, um, about yourself, about things within your life that you're interested in, that you are really kind of devoting yourself to. Uh, but it could be a person as well. I mean, maybe there's a crush. Maybe you are uh, kind of, what's, what's the word? What should I say here? Um, in a long-term relationship, breathing life back into those kind of more amorous aspects of the relationship, right? So maybe you've been married for many years, you know, and you're coming into this period of time where, yeah, it's like you're dating again. You enjoy being around each other. You're getting to know each other after, you know, maybe some time of being very busy and having, you know, being pulled this way and that way and not having as much time to kind of, you know, really check in with each other to be together deeply. Um, but I feel like all of this is changing and all of this is, uh, quite welcomed. Really. It looks like a beautiful heart here. And yeah, we have two active participants. So this is a mutual interest, a mutual attraction. Um, I feel that there is devotion here and, um, and yeah, something fun. Now, now if this is that you are single and you're dating and maybe you're not looking for anything long-term, that's okay. You know, um, this might be that you're going through kind of, a um, a flirtation at work or with a friend or, you know, somebody that you are dating casually, um, you know, whatever it is, it seems like this is, this is your summer or winter um, of, yeah, of amorous love. <laughs> uh, so that seems quite enjoyable and definitely very much a lighter energy than even the previous reading and the reading before that for Scorpio. So uh, definitely in a place of enjoying your life a little bit right now, right? really deciding I'm going to make the best of things. I'm going to get right involved with, um, these passions and, and inspirations and, and all of that. And I'm going to, um, you know, make good use of my time, of my energies. So that's a lovely feeling. Okay. So here it looks like we have uh, if you've ever seen the god Bess, uh, B E S, uh, this is he. It almost looks like a um, like a troll, right? And Bess is, and I'm going to check this as I'm saying because I'm pretty sure um, 
Bess is a god of um a god of how is a household god or a god that is kind of uh and I'm thinking, is it a door? Is he a doorkeeper? No. Childbirth. Fertility, humor, and lore. Ooh, what a mix. Primary protector god of the pregnant. Interesting. See, I thought, I was thinking, one of the gods... A god that is a, a um, guardian of a temple or the outside porch, which is kind of um, kind of like how we have porches now. But uh, in ancient times in temples, it was kind of a um, an outer courtyard or like an outer area before you entered the uh, main temple. Okay. So, uh, no, childbirth. Okay. All right. So... Um, a God that looks out for those who are creating, those who are incubating, those who are growing. Um, so I think that this is definitely an energy of maybe, well, it could be very plainly that you're pregnant or there's somebody pregnant in your life. Um, maybe not the case though. You know, maybe it's just, you know, not something that is going on. Um, but it could be that we're talking about, yeah, your, your creative well, right? Um, filled up and absolutely inspired. Uh, when you Scorpio beloveds are in a good mood, right? You're feeling good. You're in love. You're in love with life. Uh, you're just enjoying yourself. You are happy to meet the day and all of that. Um, you all get very creative. This is a, a very uh, interesting time of um, kind of the things that will come forth from you. Uh, you know, your projects and your dreams, your desires and, and so on. So um, I do feel like this is kind of divinely protected in a way, right? Uh, we have this beautiful entity kind of showing up, showing his face and letting it be known that, yeah, you, um, you are being watched over in these efforts that you are making. And, um, and so that is a beautiful thing. Uh, I think it can be quite transformative to feel there is, um, it's almost kind of like a perimeter created around the space in which you are creating. Um, and now it doesn't have to be like a physical, like you have a studio or, you know, like the guest room where you go and paint or whatever. Um, but in your mind, right? If you can think of uh, where the, you're kind of harvesting the unconscious and putting it in your little satchel and taking it back to your laboratory, right? Um, a place, a studio, a laboratory, a place to be creating. Um, and it feels safe there that you can get wild with it. You can be experimental. You can explore a range of techniques and concepts and, you know, themes and, and, um, and so on. Right. So I feel like that's being blessed by, by a, um, divine entity like this, allowing for you to really have the confidence and, um, you know, losing the inhibition to really kind of constrain yourself and, and follow the rules and, you know, no, don't step outside of what I know I'm good at already, right? No, this is a time where you, you do, you have a space, you have the means, you have the motivation, and so it is, right? And, um, and so I'm interested to hear, what are you working on? What do you hope to be working on? Are there, um, you know, any plans that you have for your creative projects in this next uh, period of time, into the summer, into the winter? 
Um, you know, what would you like to uh, explore? What are you studying or researching to kind of, um, you know, promote this this inspiration, have a deeper understanding of? I'm always so interested in people's creative processes. I love to hear about what is moving to you, right? And um, and so if you do want to share, please go ahead in the comments and let us know. Um, I know there are a lot of other people here that would be interested as well. Okay, let's see. Now we have the star up there. Okay, it's the star and it is also a person. We also have, it looks like a large fish. We have a lunar symbol over here that also looks like an E. We also have another fish right here. We have a phallic symbol in the middle. And we have, it looks like 404, 404. <laughs> oh, wait, is that the thing that comes up when you, when a link is broken, the 404? Um, And this one, I when I first looked at it, I was like, is that an hourglass? Maybe. So with the fish, immediately we know money coming in right here. So these are large fish and there are two of them. So I do think that definitely uh, there's a movement towards money coming into the household. You are going to be making some money in the next few months here. Um, now... We have that, the person who is also the star. And so, yeah, meeting your goals. I think that's something you've been working towards. Maybe you're in school and you're finishing up or um, maybe you have been looking for a raise or, or a new position, uh, going into a different career, uh, finding you know another company that aligns better with the way that you want to work and the money you want to make and so on. Um, yeah, all of this coming together, these are, the fish are the resources of our life. They're in abundance, right? Um, the things that feed us, the things that keep our life, um, funded. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, I see two of them and it seems like absolutely there will be more money than there is now for sure. In six months, you will look back and think, yeah, I'm definitely making more than I thought that I would, you know, at the beginning of summer or winter. Um, and so that is quite a blessing. Now, we also have the uh, phallic sign right here. So that is creativity, right? Inspiration. Um, it is a, a sign of fertility and, um, and really a wealth of that creative essence, right? And so, um, yeah, I do think that either the work that you're doing, the creative work you're doing is help, going to help you make money or having this outlet while also working your day job, right? Your, however you make money. Um, having these two things at the same time where you are very immersed in your creative life, but also it's flowing into the more mundane work that you do. Uh, I think it really, it, it gives you that kind of pep in your step, right? You, I feel like you are really in a place of, um, yeah, deep wand energy, like a real fiery, but it is also, you know, tempered with the, uh, with the cup energy. And here you can see, um, in the art card holding the, the wand energy and the cup energy, right? This is the coupling of opposites. This is a place of deep balance. This is the philosopher's stone being, um, being created. And so, uh, yeah, absolutely. A balance, a, um, I just keep thinking there's just such a motivation here. I feel like it's like, um, awakening and awakening and awakening and feeling and continuing to do so where it's like, you look back and you think, 
Oh my gosh. I was almost, I must have almost been kind of, uh, blue, a little bit depressed or something because then I wake up today and I feel like, yes, I can do more and more and more. I'm interested in so many more things. The colors seem brighter in the world. The music seems sweeter. Um, you know, I'm, I'm happy to, uh, wake up each day and have so many opportunities, right? There's a sense of just being in love with, uh, life in, in some way, right? A little less pessimistic, a little less cynical Scorpio. <laughs> it's maybe one of the things I love the most about Scorpio people is your ability for cynicism. <laughs> um, and the humor that is surrounded by that cynicism. Um, Nobody compares to a Scorpio on that level. Um, so, but I do, I think there's a little less of that. And I think a little bit more of just hopefulness in general, right? And so uh, we also have the E, right? So I think that definitely maybe a person with an E name, okay? Um, the Hourglass. Yes, in the hourglass. So, um, yeah, trying to, I feel like it's almost a sense of like a ticking clock. Um, I think as soon as you start to feel pretty good about life, you start to anticipate when it's going to go wrong. And it's like, I'm just waiting for the other shoe to drop kind of thing. And really, really challenging you to kind of, uh, fight against that urge to think about, okay, well, I feel good today, but I'm sure by tomorrow I'll, f I'll be back to where I was, you know? And it, uh, and when we, when we do that to ourselves, um, it's like we fulfill the prophecy quite often. We anticipate this to go bad. So it does go bad. Um, so trying to be more present in how you're feeling in the now, not about what's going to happen tomorrow or the next day or the next day. Really allowing yourself to be immersed in these days that are such blessings. A day where we feel good, mind, body, and soul, what a blessing. The older we get, the more we understand that, right? And so, um, yeah, take advantage of this energy that's flowing through your life right now. Now, we also have an R, and I, so I feel like it's an R name as well. So we have an R and we have an E. Two different names, I believe. Okay. Now we have a Scorpio symbol right in the middle here. Okay. So really in your power. Really in your power, Scorpio. Get to manifesting. Get to taking some um, ch chances, right? And I think this is in your in your work life, in your creating income life, taking some chances for yourself, doing the thing that maybe um, frightens you a little bit, or you think, oh, that might not be, you know, very lucrative, or that's a waste of my time, but I'm kind of interested in doing it, or, you know, whatever. take the chances, okay? Um, you know, my example always is doing this channel for me. And well, and for my husband, shout out to Devin Serpentero. When my husband um, came to me with this idea of like, let's start doing um, readings on YouTube. Why don't we do that? Uh, I didn't start for, I mean, it was some months, I think four or five months after him. Partially because we had a, a young child. I mean, I, you know, I was in the in the weeds <laughs> with a young toddler. Um, but you know, uh, yeah, I was like, I don't know. That seems, I don't, do people like actually make money doing that? Or is this like a fun thing to do? Um, is it, will it, will people want to watch tea leaf readings? You know, this kind of thing, a lot of questions, a lot of doubts, um, 
you know, I believe in my husband. Absolutely. And that's why I even started doing it. But, um, yeah, I had no idea, but I took a chance. Right. And, um, it has become one of the b most beloved things in my life. Uh, absolutely had no idea how many doors in my mind and my soul it was going to open and also allow me to meet some really amazing people. I've met so many cool people through this channel, a lot of other readers and a lot of people that just kind of come and, and yeah, watch the readings and interact and I've gotten to know them and, and, um, even some I would call friends now, right? So, um, you never know. You just never know. So take a chance. This is a good time for a line. You're aligned, right? You're aligned with that flow of success, of um, fortune, of the big win, right? And so, uh, yeah, I definitely think, you know, if you've been having some idea like on the back burner, you've been putting it off and yeah, do it. Try it. See how it goes. All right. So we also have a house. There we go. We have a house right here. Uh, so I also feel like with this energy, there really is a sense of order returning to the house. Also peace. I mean, just, and that's what this card is about. Um, ultimately is finding the balance, finding a sense of peace and, con and a concentration right? To the spiritual life, to the alchemical life, to the work. And I think as all of these things kind of align for you, peace falls upon the house, right? You can go home and you can rest. You can go home. You can lay your head down and feel like you have done something with your day, that you are uh, on a journey that you are proud of that is fulfilling. And, um, that is maybe one of the biggest blessings that we will ever get is to have a life that feels meaningful and to have a sanctuary where we can recharge, where we can build our temple in the manifest. And oftentimes, yeah, that is our home. Absolutely. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at our divine doors. I'm just going to go ahead and flip through. Stop where it feels right. Ooh, a blue door. I like that. Secret sketches. Wander and seek the familiar and friendly kind. Draw memories and sketches for others to find. Oh, yes. Did you go through this phase like I went through this phase where I carried around um, a sketchbook and I would just make sketches of everything? Uh, it would go to the art museums in um, mostly at this time I was living in um, Minneapolis. I also... Uh, was I in Pittsburgh at that time? I think also in Pittsburgh, I had some sketchbook, very well used sketchbooks. And, um, yeah, I just spent my days, you know, whenever I was in a waitress and, um, between my different jobs of waitressing, um, I would, yeah, go out and explore the city and, and sketch things and, um, you know, I wasn't any good. <laughs> I'm not any good at sketching, but it did. It gave me the opportunity to feel like I was in a space for a reason and um, to really look at things. People don't really question what you're doing as much if you have a sketchbook and you're looking around and, you know, really taking it all in. So, um, yeah, I, I wonder if you've been through that stage as well. Um, it is, it is a fun one. It's kind of like going through the phase of, you know, photographing everything, which by the way, my daughter is going through that phase. She's four 
And um, I did post some pictures she took of me the other day. And she has such a beautiful um, an eye for things. And somebody had said that they were they had gone to school for photography and that she had framed the pictures well. Well, they were they were cropped definitely. <laughs> um, but yeah, she does. She has a, a beautiful eye. Um, she has been taking pictures since she was I don't know maybe like two, and she would take my phone and um just take pictures of all kinds of stuff and um my husband and i have collected them you know obviously um we you know we're sentimental fools for sure but i hope um you know she continues to take pictures and and uh we will definitely be compiling um books for her to of all of her photos and things the evolution of and uh yeah so I, these phases, these, uh, these loves, these interests, I hope we all have them. You know, they're all worthwhile, definitely. All right, Scorpio, I'm going to go ahead and tell you I love you because I do. And I thank you so much for spending this time with me. It is always such an honor to be able to bring these messages to you. And if you would be so kind as to like the video, it really does help the channel. And if you have not subscribed yet, please think about doing that. You can hit that little bell. It'll let you know when the next readings are coming out. It is free to subscribe. Uh, and if you'd like to leave a comment, please do. I'd love to hear from you. All right, Scorpio, I love you. Take care of yourself. We'll talk in a few days. Good night.